Hello, welcome to Tremco Sustainable Building Solutions Test Facility here in Cleveland, Ohio. My name is Steven Kranick, manager of the lab, and what we're gonna do today is go through a walkthrough of our lab, starting here in our conference area, then we're gonna go out and see our test walls. We're gonna talk about the brief history of how Tremco got into testing, as well as show you a test and talk about the testing capabilities that we run here. If you have any questions, please hold them till the end and then contact your local sales rep. Okay, so what you see behind me here is our first test wall that we built in this facility. The main reason for this is because standards and codes were getting more stringent when it came to weather barriers. Now, as we were developing this, we got input from the building science community and they told us what they would like to see in a test facility. Another reason we built this is because what we do is test uh, wall systems. Now, wall system is a upscale of one of our products and then we put another product on and that's what makes it a system. It's more than one product. So we already have the R&D lab that looks and focuses on the one product. Here we upscale it and this is like the next step towards getting onto the building. So we can bring customers in here, we can work with their details and use our product. Now this has become such a big success that we built a bigger wall and the main reason for that is because of the ASTM E2357 test which we'll get into that a little bit later as well. So let's go in here and see what we have now. Okay, so here we are in our new facility. Uh, as you can see, the wall behind me is bigger than the wall that we just saw. This one measures a 20 foot in width by 16 foot in height. Now what that does is gives us a capability of running a larger test specimen as well as running two eight foot by eight foot test specimens all at once. With that, when it comes to an ASTM E2357, which is a standard uh, air barrier test for determining air leakage, we can run the two tests that it specifies at one day instead of the two days that it normally takes. So with that test, we want run one opaque wall, which is just product on a blank wall, and then we run a penetration wall that you see uh, behind me. And that test is just a static pressure for an hour each way, infiltration, exfiltration. And then we go into uh, cycles. So pressure on, pressure off for a thousand cycles, both infill and exfill. And then before and after that test, we run an ASTM E283, which is the standard air leakage test. So you want to see upfront what the wall leaks, and then after that cyclic test, trying to rip and tear the membrane or the board joints, what it uh, calculates afterwards. And then we also run a water test here, which in, is an ASTM E331. Uh, that is a 15 minute static pressure test with a static uh, approximately eight inch per hour rainfall on the exterior. Now we also run a building code version of that which is 1403.2 that is a two hour long test with the pressure being about one and a half times what we run the E331 test. Now there are several other tests that we run here uh, you can see at this list and if there's any other tests that you think we can run here uh, just get with your local sales rep or contact me and then we can talk through it. Now let's go in the back and run a test. Okay so now I'm going to turn this baby on. Uh, I'm going to show you what an ASTM E331 test looks like. Uh, I'm going to turn our pump on so a big thing about this facility is we recycle water. Um, so I'm going to turn the pump on, I'm going to turn the program on, and I'm going to run a test. Okay, so what I'm looking at on my computer right now is I'm looking at the pressure. So I have a pressure I need to get to. Uh, also, I could see the timer. So like I said, we run this test for 15 minutes. 
So this lets me know how much time has elapsed and how much time is remaining. Um, now if we are doing a air test, this also tells me the flow. With this program that I'm running, it tells me the flow in three different ways, actually four different ways. I can read in past scales, can read in pounds per square foot, I can read in inches of water, and I can read in miles per hour. So there's a lot of information that I can see all at once. And um, during this test, I'm gonna use my flashlight, see if there's any leaks going on. Uh, we're running a vacuum. And as of now, we look pretty good. So that's our test facility here at Tremco. Uh, if you would like to stop by and witness it firsthand, or if you'd like to schedule a test, you can get with your local sales rep, and we'd be glad to have you. Thanks for joining us on this tour. Let me get back to this test now.